Is Arlecchino better than Nivellet or is the Hydro Sovereign better than the Nate? Now, they are both different and similar at the same time. If that is Hydro and Arlecchino is Pirate. One is great with charge attacks and one is great with normal attacks. Both are great DPS units. They on field for a lengthy period of time, meaning that they both need some investing to be good. Nivellet has made himself a April for many in the game already in the span of a short few months. Everyone has now accepted that he is one of the stronger characters within the game and is pretty easy to build too. Scaling off HP makes it easy for the Hydro Dragon to really output some nasty amounts of damage. Not only that, but his AoE makes it that no target is missed. His easy to build artifact set makes it so crit rate is a non-issue and you can just focus on crit damage and HP percentage. Overall, his kit just screams damage. Now, I know that because he's been out for a long time, that also means that he's more reliable and that Arlecchino might be a little bit less reliable because we haven't seen that much damage on, you know, Arlecchino yet. I must say, I doubt that she will be any much weaker than Nivellet. In any case, I still want to talk about Nivellet a little bit more. His weapon choices are vast and his talents are really easy to level up. You can put a lot of weapons on him. You can put HP percentage from the craftable weapons, do crit, crit damage from the battle pass, from the shop, anywhere really. He, it just makes him so easy to build and has a bunch of choices. Nivellet is definitely one of the DPSs in the game, if we can say you can't go wrong with, and definitely makes the game a little too easy. And for some, that's great because it adds comfortability, and for others, the easier the game gets, the less fun you have. In any case, Nivellet is strong and it's definitely worth the summons and or wishes that you put into his banner. The only problem being his actual banner right now, with a lot of old 4 stars like Barbara, Xing Chong, and Yenfei, for new players, it shouldn't pose a problem. In fact, more constellations on Xing Chou would actually be pretty great. Barbara and Yenfei are pretty much out of the meta at the moment, other than C4 Yenfei, I suppose, where you could use the shield up for, you know, some pretty good stuff. Nivellet is just an absolute powerhouse. Pairing him with other teammates is a piece of cake. A great and fantastic overall character for veterans and newbies alike. Now, for Arlecchino. Arlecchino definitely seems like a powerhouse character and will definitely rival other pyro units to become one of the greatest ones in the game. I'll say, if he works unusually, she will deal massive damage thanks to the bond of life mechanic. This means that she will also be as strong as Nivellet if not, there is potential to be even stronger. Though that doesn't mean that she will be stronger in most cases, because you, there is a lot to think about when it comes to AoE, rotations, and other stuff like that. But this also means that she is going to be worth it. Not to mention, you also probably need to invest a lot into her kit to really allow her to reach her full potential. She scales off attack, which means it's a little more difficult to make her a powerhouse, and you're going to need to do a lot of investing into her artifacts and you're going to try to manage from attack to crit rate to crit damage to energy recharge all of that stuff to really try your best to get to get the most well-rounded Ar Arlecchino that you can find something that Arlecchino probably does not have is weapon choice her being a polearm character means so much more but her weapon choices aren't that fast that being said i'm not saying there aren't great pole arms i'm just saying that the pole arms for her specifically are not that much mechanic in bond of life makes it a little bit more difficult for us to choose which pole arms are going to be great and which pole arms are not going to be great at all so if you want to know which weapons that you might want to use for her i made a video in the top right corner just click on that and i'll send you right there he does have some great five star four star and three star options readily available for her that just it just doesn't make sense when you have the bond of life mechanic for some of those weapons to really take effect but that shouldn't deter you too much from getting this character because she will deal a massive amount of damage now she probably really needs some good teammates to dish out a greater amount of damage but so does Nivellet. i'm thinking that she needs specific teammates to really make her work better that matter i think Nivellet has that win over that now what does this exactly mean for you the viewer that just wants to know who to go for if you want a more easy 
laid back style of gameplay, I'd honestly suggest Nivellet. He's just so genuinely easy, you can't go wrong with not getting him. He makes the game a little too straightforward thanks to his massive pump. <laughs> I mean charge attack, excuse me. And if you want a little spice in your life and want a more hands-on experience, go for Arlecchino. That's it. That's the only difference I can think of. Both of them are going to be great DPSs and have their own niche, but you just have to decide which character makes you feel a little bit more engaged to the game. That's all. Um, that's all I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching this video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay informed on all things engine related. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And now we're going to be reacting to the teaser for Arlecchino. Father, I was reckless. Wait. When I saw those emaciated patients, those poor children. Oh, this is gonna be sad, isn't it? The futile hope in their eyes. I've told you before, recklessness always leads to failure. But it was not wholly in vain. Okay. I shall settle the rest. Okay. Are you ah, about to see some those fools? They will never know the wonders of wealth. Of course, it's about money. Oh my goodness gracious me. I'm about to go down. Oh. Okay, this has to just be... <laughs> okay, okay Genshin. It's a little, it's a little too much, I think. Father. Your face. Fremene, we can take in a few more homeless children next year. I have acquired some new funds. Oh, oh my. Okay. Fremene's just going along with it. Classic. Mission accomplished. You can sleep now. All that blood on her face now. Thank you. Once I'm better. I'll start my next mission. Oh no. It won't get better. Oh no. Covered her eyes. Analyst reaping a prophet. Those who parade their virtues often do the most evil. Mm, my goodness. We are not like them. Okay, but why peace, isn't your hair wet? You have some like my child. water repellent on that. <laughs> okay, there's a little too much crowd pleasing in in this in this <laughs> in this teaser. Like, are you kidding me? What is this? <laughs> What is this? Are you joking? Um, well, that, that was that. I actually, that was an okay one. I'll be honest, that wasn't my favorite one of all time. It was kind of boring. But, um, yeah, I guess it was kind of fun seeing Orochino beat someone up. And, yeah, okay, that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.